DaVinci is the best one-time fee editing program guaranteed. However, it irritates my nervous system much like snake venom and there's problems and let's talk about it. All I want is the perfect camera. All I want is the perfect camera. If you're a DaVinci Resolve user, take a deep breath and fucking relax. I'm just pointing out some flaws in the program. They might be user error. And that's why, part of why I make videos like this, hopefully to promote awareness to DaVinci to maybe change something that's annoying or have one of you correct me down there and say, hey, this isn't a problem if you just do this. Boom. So let's help each other. Like last time I said, oh, whenever I bring a clip into DaVinci, if I was in this effects tab here, I couldn't just flip over to this easily and one of you told me I could split them. Sure, I lost a good 40% of my timeline, but it's a workaround that I'm getting used to so I can always bring them in. I don't have to just stop myself. But that brings us to the first problem. Do you see it right now? This, whenever I drag things in here, it should be in order, same order here, but you see this first file? Not there, is it? Why? Why are they not, they're not even close, not even close. What the hell happened? So I think this is a bug. This just started happening recently. Everything is in order except the last file goes first now. Everything else is boom, two to 10, but the 11th file is number one always. So I just, I have to move that first file to the back. Something's off, that's a bug. That's not me, that's you. Here's something that annoys me. I film a lot of 4K 60p wildlife and every single time I want to slow that to 40% to get some slow-mo, barely. Why can't I change multiple clips at a time? I select them all, change clip speed. Oh, oh, just the one, huh? Okay, I'll just do that individually for every single clip. There's, don't worry, there's only 35 clips. I'll just do that all day. Just let me change them all and ripple each one. This next one has plagued my soul since the birth of the Canon Cripple Hammer, where we do little animations. It should be where I just, I press play and then I move the clip and then press play and it's creating keyframes as I'm doing that. And it does do that most of the time, but when it doesn't, it resets. It just resets back and it won't create a new keyframe and there's no reason for it to be happening. I just like to press play and then move it. But when that happens, it's like a glitch. I have to then like move it with the position dial and it's so inaccurate and weird feeling. It just it makes more sense to move it on the screen. And I hate you, DaVinci, so much. And what the hell is your problem with moving multiple clips around on my timeline? Why does it jump up like 15 spaces? I can never get it to just go. Look what happens when I'm dropping it. This is really annoying. I just want to put them above. Like, where is that? Just let me do it. Over here. Look how high up it is. It's like 15 columns up. It's two, but that's too, too many. Too, too many. And when I'm moving clips around, you dare not color outside the lines. If you move for one second outside of the timeline spot, your clips are gone forever. Every little movement, if you go over too far to the left or too high up, they're gone. This is not a game of operation in how precise can I make these movements. I just want to grab, drag, Release. If I move one second outside that line, second is the word. It's over. I hate you. Why can't I apply multiple transitions? I wanted warps on all of those. Why do I have to do it individually? Just everywhere. End and beginning. Multiple clips at a time. This took me half an hour. Half an hour. I just gave up. I deleted the whole video. It's bullshit. Bullshit. If you're noticing that you have the fix for any of these so far, just post them friendly down below. Oh, by the way, I have this fix and thank you for it. Is that too bright? It looks too bright. Oh yeah. Oh, that is the stuff. Next one, bringing two pictures in at a time. 
say I want to do that. I just download a couple clips, boom, two pictures. Why do you meld them into a, a double? What do I do with that? I bring two, it's now one, it says they're two. I don't know how to unfold them. Why is it like this? There's no way of separating them that I know of. You probably know, so tell me, but that's stupid. Why don't they just both be there separately? I dragged two things there. It's one thing now. I didn't need a mega thing that, oh, I wanted to combine these two pictures into the ultimate best picture. Just put the fucking two things there. Why do my clips not link sometimes? I always highlight when I add external audio and then I grab them both and link them together. I even have a custom button to do that quickly. But look, some of them are just not. I already linked that, but it wasn't. It didn't hold. Why I pressed the buttons. Some of them, oh, there's another one. Why? Just link when I say it. Link. They unlink somehow. I hate you. This one has to be the dumbest limitation I've ever seen. When I do my Q&A show, I have these, I save these little comments and then I put them at the bottom of the screen. Sometimes, if the comment's too small, there's a limit to how far you can lower it. So it's like, boom, there's a gap at the bottom. You can't go lower than whatever that number is, 8640? Why the hell is there a limit on how far you can move a file? You've decided for me? But, oh, you probably wouldn't need to go lower than that. And don't put a new limit of, okay, we'll let you do minus 9,000. All the way till it disappears. Don't hold me back. All right, last flaw here. I could come up with many more daily, but I'll save your time for now until I get more. This audio sync. I always create external audio files and then I sync them up after. Whenever I bring that external file in, even though it's the same ass length, it's always one frame off. Just line up, you piece of shit. Why, why all these little frames? Little frame boy, just go one. Where we go one, we go all. I slash it and then it should be there, but it's always off like one frame. I have to zoom in to super correct it. I shouldn't live that life. So thank you DaVinci for fixing all these problems in the next firmware update. You have until May 19th. And thank you for getting on it and listening to us, our val your valued customer. You appreciate us, we appreciate you sometimes. Thank you for being so cool, letting me put out content, I love it. Just the minor things that hurt me. Maybe some of you can fix them for me, but not all of them. Some of them have to be fixed by the team, and you know that. We learned something. Thanks for buying a Camera Conspiracies t-shirt down below. And the DaVinci program through my affiliate links. You buy it. It'll be fixed, trust me. They'll fix it.